So last week, I told you about my birth story, about how my mother put me in a basket and hid me away, and the Pharaoh's daughter uh, took me in and adopted me and gave me a name. Today, I want to tell you about something that happened much later in my life. Uh, I wasn't living in Egypt anymore. Something happened when I was growing up. I did something I probably shouldn't have, and Pharaoh wanted to kill me. So I had to leave, and I came here, to Midian. Now, I grew up, I married a woman, we had a son, I was working as a shepherd. Not the best profession, but a lot of people get by as shepherds, and we were doing okay. So one day, I was out tending the flock, my father-in-law's flock, as these things go, and I was walking around this area, right here, that I'd been hundreds of times before. Something happened that was a little bit different this time. Right over there at the top, you can kind of see there's a, there's a bush over there. Um, that bush was burning. And you can see now, that bush is fine. There, it didn't burn up, but it was definitely, definitely on fire. And I thought to myself, this is strange. So I took a step or two closer to it. This is where the really weird part happened. The bush started saying my name. Moses, Moses. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever had a bush talk to you and call you by name. It's not normal at all, at least for me, first time. So I got a little interested in what was going on over there. I decided to walk over and investigate. I took a couple of steps closer, and the bush told me to stop. The bush told me I was walking on holy ground, and I needed to take off my shoes. So I did, and then I walked a little bit closer. And as I walked closer, the bush that was on fire, but not burning up, that's kind of important, started talking to me more. It told me that it was actually God talking through the bush. I don't know how that works. That's complicated. God does things differently than most of us. Anyway, I'm walking up there, and the bush, at this point, I'm getting close, and it's talking to me, and it told me it was God. I'm trying to hide my face a little bit and turn away because that's scary being that close to God. But the bush told me that the Hebrews, my people, were still stuck in Egypt. They were still slaves. It's horrible, isn't it? And I thought, my goodness, God, you need to do something about this. And I was kind of mentioning this to the bush. And then the bush told me, I know, so why are you still standing here? The bush, God, the bush that was on fire, wanted me to go. And I said, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do you remember when I left Egypt? The Pharaoh was trying to kill me. It was not a good thing. I don't think I am the right man for your job here. And the bush told me I was going. That really wasn't negotiable. But the bush also told me I wouldn't be alone, that God would be with me, that he would help me, that he would give me helpers to help free the people in Egypt. Moses, I think that's a great spot for us to stop this week. Excellent. Because we want to hear what happened when you go back to Egypt next That's week. a great story, too. So, yes. Thank you for showing me.